huge consensus on global warming in this country right now and man's contribution to it. A United Nations report says it's unequivocal, it's happening and very likely due to man-made greenhouse gases. Polls show Americans want the government to do something about it. 75% say so. But some Republican holdouts don't believe. Among them, California Congressman Dana Rohrabacher, who's also joined right now by Jim Rand of Virginia, who is a believer with the great American majority in global warming. I'm going to ask Jim Moran to lead since he's with the establishment for once on this one. <laughs> you are with most scientists, the United Nations, most Americans, three quarters of us want something done about CO2 emissions. What's the scientific argument for why we got to do something about CO2 emissions? Well, uh, Chris, they just built an 18-hole golf course in Juneau, Alaska, that just a few years ago, uh, years ago used to be entirely underwater. Uh, glaciers in Juneau are melting away at the rate of about 30 f feet or more per year. You know, we have 2,300 of the most reputable scientists in 130 countries that said the globe is warming and that it's a result of human activity. We need to act now. And, you know, I'm a little disappointed in my good friend Dana. I, I'm inclined to ask him how he feels about the earth revolving around the sun or whether, uh, you know, smoking causes cancer. These things have been resolved, Dana, by the, the best experts. Now we have to move forward and figure out what we're going to do about it. Congressman Rohrbacher, are you a Luddite, a troglodyte? Are you a part of the planet of the apes that doesn't want science? Where well, would you place yourself in this argument? I would place myself in the, in the position of being someone who's willing to speak the truth uh, while, the rest of the, while the rest of the people are being fed a bunch of baloney. Let me just note this to you, Chris. The poll you quoted was wrong. That's an old poll. The Rasmussen, the latest Rasmussen poll shows that a vast majority of the American people do not believe that the climate is changing due to human activity. And furthermore, well, I got a poll from the Washington Post, ABC, furthermore, furthermore, which is one month old. That's further, not the one I'm quoting. Yeah. I'm not quoting it. The Rasmussen is a Republican poll. We yeah. generally don't quote it here. Okay. Look at this. 75% in the last month's ABC Washington Post poll said government needs to do something about global warming three quarters in a recent poll not a rasmussen poll well what, what does something mean does that mean that they're going to agree to have their taxes raised by sixteen hundred dollars or a family but no let's go back to the science on this there are uh, i have never seen in my lifetime i have never seen an effort more uh with more pressure to try to cut off debate than what has been happening on this issue. We hear, uh, you, you have just demonstrated to your audience, uh, calling names, the debate's over, what are you, a Luddite? What is that about? How do you discuss science with those types of terms, Chris? What we've well, where seen is the across, debate? I don't know where, who opposes this. Debate? Where is the debate? The debate is, we just talked about Alaska. How about Greenland uh, a thousand years ago was a place that was green? How about we have gone through fluctuations like we're going through now throughout the history of this planet, and it happens to mirror solar activity, things that are going on in the sun, not what's going on you know, in, in what type of transportation is being used by that generation of Americans. Okay, Mr. Moran, let me go with Mr. Moran on this because when you have Exxon Mobil joining the movement to do something about CO2 emissions, you got to wonder whether science hasn't made its case. Mr. Moran. The last two decades have been the warmest in millennia. Uh, we That's know. not really accurate. That's totally inaccurate. The last eight years, we Damn. haven't had one bit of warming for the last eight years, so you can't say for two decades we've had warming. That's oh, just not the case. Well, uh, uh, Dana, uh, you know, I, I'm Where did you reading, get your statistics Because I'm reading this. what the experts are telling us, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. All of the most credible scientists, other than those that are being paid by the industry to support the industry, and now the industries are siding with the scientists. They understand this debate has taken place for decades, and they've lost it. The fact is, it is real. The, uh, the globe is warming. There are hundreds of millions of people who live within a few feet uh, of the uh, ocean's borders, and their lives are in danger. In fact, uh, our, uh, the world is, economy... this is caused uh, by mankind. Mind. This is called by you. Yes, we have had these that fluctuations. Was their, that was their unequivocal the conclusion. Okay, well, if it's caused by mankind, why do we have those same temperature fluctuations going on on Mars and Jupiter? Isn't it more likely that the sun is causing this rather than the automobiles? 
Dana, uh, you know, uh, it's, what, it what doesn't get us anywhere to, to, on, to well, argue this the, point. I'm going to rely upon the experts. Answer but, the argument, the scientific argument that we have fluctuations going on on Mars and Jupiter that parallel what's going on here. And Dana, if that's the case, uh, uh, read uh, the that's scientists. Science. No, that is people science. that have spent their lives studying this stuff. How about how about uh, they, scientists? Uh, how about scientists all of them like have of, concluded, okay. and now Maybe you're trying to argue against them. But how even about, if it were not the case, we need to build new green jobs. We need to clean up this yeah. atmosphere. We need to reduce our dependence upon foreign uh, fossil oh, fuel supply. And, uh, and we've got to we reduce agree. the emissions coming from vehicles. We, we need agree more, on that, uh, more you, energy efficient economy. And so it's time CO, to act. If you focus okay, on let me, CO2, let me slow this down. you're not a... Con By the way, let me just point out that Dr. Richard Lindzen, the hot, top scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, along with hundreds of other scientists uh, throughout the world, totally disagree with what you're trying to say, Chris. And I would suggest to the audience to take a look at global, global warming skeptics and Google that and see these top level scientists. Oh, I know they exist. From They're in the papers the all the time. The ads run in every paper. Dana, these are the last gasps of a dying party. You know, uh, to continue to fight this in the same way you fought the link between cancer and, and smoking. Uh, oh, well, this is where we again. are today. Don't, this don't, is where answer, don't answer the argument. You've got to look no, to the... Okay. No, don't answer the, the scientific so, argument that it well, was let me warming ask you all these fluctuations. What we have here is a normal fluctuation of weather patterns of, our, of our, the world's history okay. and with a power grab trying to tax this money from the American people with that as an excuse. We're There's trying to your save climate the planet. Change. Disaster. And we're creating Mr. millions Robocker, of green Mr. jobs Robocker. in the process of saving the planet. I wonder if Mr. Moran has a point. I want to know if you respond to it this way. Okay. Is there a cultural divide between the two parties that goes beyond this issue, where one party is more traditional in its values, it, it relies more on faith than on science? For example, uh, we've had people in this program, I'm sure they're all over the country, who don't believe in evolution. They don't believe in biology the way it's taught. They don't accept oh. the way that we... Oh, well, Chris, that's, are you one of those? Chris, that's a good way to shut down the argument. No, I'm asking closed. the question. Listen, if it's no, not true, not, the answer's no. No, you're not. What you're doing is trying to throw other things in there to poison the well How's this another of an argument. Thing? How about, how about, how about tackling the argument, Chris, that solar activity has caused these fluctuations in the past? How well, about well, saying, I, how, about, how about answering the argument that okay, the, those the people... Okay, the reason who, I wait, do that is to get back to scientific method. Let me finish accept? my one Method. point. Let me finish my one point. That we that they started the global warming. Their their baseline started at a 500 year low in temperature. Is that the way you decide what's warming? How about the fact that we've had warming trends and go and, right. and cooling trends that lasted like for example during the 40s. 50s and 60s, yeah. there was a cooling trend even though CO2 was on the rise. Why, how about answering all those solid scientific well, I, questions I just want to rather know than whether trying to poison the well with that type I'm of not, nonsense? I'm not. I'm asking, do we accept science? Do you accept science? Do you accept evolution, I just gave, for example? I just, I just gave you... You won't answer the question, will you? Well, no, no. I just gave you scientific, uh, scientific challenges on this issue, and you throw that kind of garbage back at me. It's not I would, garbage I, if no, you... No, it's well, not Oh, is garbage. evolution garbage? How, how, no, no, wait a How come you are trying to argue uh, creationism when, when you're supposed to be talking about global warming? The bottom because line it gets is, to, it no, no, gets because to you're trying to poison How do you well. logically achieve truth? Do uh, you go through a scientific method or do you go through something called you go, you this, go, this general skepticism okay. towards science? No, no. Which and you can I, espouse and here. No, and I'm, you not can hey, I'm not espousing, hey, I'm not espousing uh, skepticism about science. I've given you four or five major points. The change in right. the temperature. Temperature on, on planets Mars and Jupiter. How about the change of fluctuations we've right. had in the okay, Earth's temperature? I'm going to go back to the last How word. How about Greenland used to be green and had nothing okay, to do I wanna give with it, I, I don't want to debate us. this. I just, I'm skeptical about your skepticism. I think you are unwilling to say you believe in evolution tonight on this program. Uh, I believe that evolution may well be within the concepts of my religious faith. Okay, so thank the you. Jim Moran. Yes. Okay, I great. Thank in, you. Yeah, I believe in evolution, and I also believe the fact that more than 2,000 of the most credible scientists concluded that global warming has been so intense that it couldn't possibly be solely attributable to, uh, to changes in the sun's reflection. The reality mm -hmm. is this is man-made. 
men, uh, the, uh, the leaders of uh, human society across the globe need to get mm. together and to save this planet. We need to start now. And, and unfortunately, our obstacle, our principal obstacle, is the party that is proving itself to be the anti-science policy party See, that had eight again. years yeah. and eight years they've disputed every scientific fact uh, okay. that so would have enabled us to move forward. scientists agree with me and they're skeptical about this and when they try to shut down the debate with okay, we got case to go. eight years it is a Congressman, uh, President uh, Bush, who just left office, disagrees with you. Uh, Exxon Mobil disagrees with you. The United yeah, Nations all disagrees all with John you. John McCain disagreed. Yeah, sure they do. Sure okay, they do. Does thank that you make them right? Uh, no. You've made a heroic argument tonight. Congressman Dana Rohrbach of California, Keep sir, thank you for pure, joining Dana. us. And Congressman <laughs> Jim ran with that last lick in there. Thank you, gentlemen. Up next, as Republicans figure out their future, John McCain's daughter says it's time for the party to be more liberal in many ways. Well, she seems to be more modern in some people. We're going to have her, a little piece of her from the Colbert Report coming up next. It's kind of fascinating. You're watching Hardball, only on MSNBC. The U.S. has plenty of wind. 